Good morning YouTube. This is the inspiration for today's video. This is my toolbox. The toolbox itself is about 12 years old. The top on said toolbox is about two years old. Well, I got a truckload of pallet wood here. Let's get started. We'll unstrap it, get it unloaded, get it broke down. So, while I break down these pallets, let me go ahead and tell you how this all got started. You've seen my toolbox. Well, for a long time, it was the only one in our shop that had that nice wooden top on it. Well, my daughter and her boyfriend got a job with me about two years ago. They're both doing real well. She's a quality tech and he's become a decoration technician. So he went and bought a toolbox. And after seeing my toolbox, of course, he wanted a nice wooden top for his. So. I went out and I got pallets from my favorite source and here we are. We got them all broke down and piled up. Let's start taking them apart. So I didn't need the whole length of these seven foot boards so I just went ahead and cut the ends and the cracks off the ends of them. Take the nails out. One of these days I'll buy one of them fancy pneumatic ones. And then we run one side through the joiner. A lot of chips there. There's a lot of boards. So, after we get them ran through the joiner, I start putting them through the table saw with that jointed side toward, toward the fence. Now, normally I would have just ran the whole board through the planer, but I wanted to try something different. I went ahead and I cut them up to an inch and three eighths because my final wanted to be around one inch. So now we got all this wood. I got 60 of them cut at 70. I've got 14 of them at 60. And these are eight of them at like 46 inches. I know there's way more cut here than what I need for the toolbox top. So we'll get the toolbox top laid out and then we'll move on to the next thing, which is maybe a bench or a tabletop I don't know if I take these and put them right in the middle I could probably do something curved we'll figure that out after we get the toolbox top done so let's get these off the table and back on the table and laid out as we need them and then we'll start gluing them up So what I'm doing here is I am laying them out to find the boards that I want to use. And as you can see, lots of boards start to disappear. There's lots of them that are bent and bowed, so I'm trying to pick out the straightest ones I could find. Then I take a measurement and I squeeze them together to make sure I have enough wood. And then of course, onto the glue up. There's a lot of boards here to put together. so. I put together like half of them, throw some clamps on it, lay the rest of them out, glue those up, and then we'll get them all in the clamps. As you can see, it's a, it's a pretty big chunk of wood. I think he bought the biggest toolbox he could find. We'll get the clamps on it and let that dry overnight. Well, there we go. Next day. Time to get started again. Now I don't want to flatten all 70 inches of this right now. So I'm going to cut it down to about, what is it? 57 inches and you know I'm a little lazy so we're just going to go ahead and do this on the miter so I had to flip it now we got to get it clamped down to the table so we can flatten it up my holes are apparently not wide enough so my stop blocks weren't working very well but that's alright I'll figure it out yep I'll figure it out. Come on, 
today, Junior. We ain't got all day. Ah, now you're starting to get it. Aha. Uh -huh. So, that all taken care of, we'll use some wedges and lock this thing down, and then we'll get on to flattening this thing. So it's about this time that I am realizing that I wish that I had some eight foot long rails. That would be a big help at this point because I have to keep moving it. So we have these that will all need to be filled if we're going to do it on the top. I figured this one for the bottom so I did not clean it up very well just flat so if we flip this over I still have a few I have to fill but it does look a lot better now we have to determine a front and a back, which I have determined this to be the front, will fill these holes and this side to be the back. So now we're going to run this across the joiner and we are going to cut it the final width. His toolbox has holes pre-drilled in it for bolts. So I made a template on where the bolt holes were. This helped a lot. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to drill and put in some quarter 20 inserts. That way all I have to do is bolt it on when I get it to the shop.
So I got all the cracks filled. Everything sanded nice, smooth up to 320. My wife says she don't like this part. I like it. I don't know if he'll like it. I do. So uh doesn't matter. It's on both sides of that board anyway. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's uh put some finish on it. So because this is for my daughter's boyfriend, he wanted to pay for the whole thing. Well, I guess he gets the family discount. All he had to do was pay for the materials, which the only money that cost was the color of stain he wanted to use. Which I actually have this color. It's just not named the same. But if he really wanted, I told him he couldn't pay me, I wouldn't accept no money. But you know, my birthday's coming up, and uh, there's some new Star Wars helmets out, and, you know, it's rude to refuse a nice birthday gift. And here is the finished product. It's mounted, and I couldn't show you all the mounting process because we're not supposed to video at work, you know, all the corporate secrets and such. But I did get you little bit of video of how it turned out I think it turned out pretty good so if you think it turned out pretty good hit that like button subscribe and uh, ring that bell